I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com and in this video I'm going to be telling you how to pull the drain plugs out of your JL. We all know that Wranglers are very rugged and if you are doing any sort of off-roading in water or maybe you just leave the top off and you have an unexpected rainstorm, Jeep does include some drain plugs in the floor for just that purpose. They can also be used if you're just hosing out the interior of the Jeep to clean things up a little bit. So the JL drain plugs are a little bit different from generations of the past and I want to show you how to pull them and a couple of the other little features that Jeep has included that make these just that much better than past gens. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel that way you can check out our full review on the Jeep JL. So now that we're in the Jeep we're going to show you how to pull those drain plugs. We're obviously going to be working on the passenger side here but you're going to have the same thing over on the driver side. So the first step is going to be removing the factory floor mat and that just unclips from these retention pins that are in the floor. Just pull it out and we'll set it aside. Next, you're going to have a small cutout in the factory carpeting, and on the passenger side here, it's right next to this retention pin that is closest to the door, and you'll have to remove that. Now, we've removed this once already, so it just pops right out. If this is your first time, it's connected with two little bits of carpeting on either side. You can just give it a tug or use a sharp utility knife to cut that if you choose to. We'll set that out of the way. Then all you have to do is get in there with your finger and pull the plug. This comes out very easily. If you wanted to use a screwdriver or some sort of trim removal tool, you could, but as you can see, just sticking your finger under there allows you to pull this out very, very easily. And that's it. If you had some water in the floor here, you pull the plug, it's going to drain right out through the hole. Now, a couple of the differences on the JL here versus the JK and other generations in the past are the cutout in the carpeting. In the past, the water is just expected to run through the carpeting and find the hole. Here, you actually have a cutout in the carpeting. And the main reason for the cutout in the carpeting is that the Mopar all-weather floor mats, so the rubber floor mats, will clip right into these retention pins and they actually have a hole built right into those that will snap into the hole in the floor here. And the benefit to that is if you do get in the Jeep, you have a bunch of snow on your boots. As that melts, the water is going to run off of that all-weather floor mat and right down into the floor drain hole. If you have any sort of mud, dirt, debris in that floor mat, instead of taking it out and hosing it off, which you still certainly can do, you could take a little bit of water and pour it on that mat and allow all that stuff to just rinse right out through the floor of the Jeep. So you are going to have the ability to do that. And that's something that is new for the JL. So as I said, you're gonna have one of these on the passenger side here, the same thing over on the driver's side. Whether it rained in your Jeep, you did a deep water crossing, or you're just looking to hose out and clean the interior, pulling the drain plugs is gonna come in handy. So I hope this video helped you to know how to pull your drain plugs on your JL in case you have a little unexpected water in there, or if you're just looking to pull them to clean out the interior. Make sure you comment below, let us know what type of situation you got yourself into that required pulling your plugs.